So, this is GoCode. In this video, we will deep dive into a data structure named as try. First, we will go over the introduction part with its application. After that, we will go over the functions that are required to implement try. After that, we will make the pseudocode so that everyone can implement his own code for try in his or her favorite language. And at last, we will solve a problem on try using C++ language. So let's begin. As you know, there are many algorithms and data structures available to index and search a string inside a text. Some of them are included in the standard library, but not all of them. The try data structure is a good example of one that isn't. Let word be a string and dictionary be a large set of words. Now, if we have a dictionary and we have to know if this word is inside our dictionary or not, then try is a data structure that can help us. But you may ask yourself why you try if set string and hash table can do the same. There are two main reasons. First is try can insert and find the string in big O of L time where L represents the length of a single word that we are in inserting. This is much faster than hash table. And second reason is the set string and the hash table can only find a dictionary word that match exactly with the single word that we are finding. The try allow us to find word that have single character different, a prefix in common, a character missing, etc. The try have great amount of application in software engineering. Example, consider a web browser. Do you know how a web browser can autocomplete your text or show you many possibilities of text that you could be writing? Yes. With the try, you can do it very fast. Do you know how an orthographic character can check that every word that we are typing is in a dictionary? Again, a try. You can also use a try for suggested correction of the word that are present in a text but not in a dictionary. Now you may thinking about how wonderful the try is, but maybe you don't know yet what the try is and why the try have this name try. The word try is an infix of the word retrieval because the try can find a single word in a dictionary with only a prefix of the word. These three are the main idea of the try data structure. The first idea is that the try is a tree where each vertex represent a single word or a prefix. The second is the root represent a empty string. The vertex that are direct sum of the root represent a prefix of length 1. And the vertex that are two edge of distance from the root represent a prefix of length 2. And the vertex that are three edge of a distance from, our, from the root represent prefix of length 3 and so on. In other words, a vertex that are k edges of distance of root have an associated prefix of length k. The associated prefix of length k means a prefix that formed by adding k character continuously from the root. Third is, let v and w be our two vertices of the try and assume that v is the direct father of w then we must have associated prefix with w means let a b c is the prefix up to the vertex v and let w consist d then associated prefix means the string that is made by adding this and this that is a b c d this is the associated prefix. Let's make a try for these words. A try have a root which do not contain any character. So let's make a root first. So this is our root. Now let's take 
the first word tree the first character of word tree is t since root doesn't have any child which is t so let's make a child t the second character of tree is r and t also doesn't have any child which is r so let's make a child r the third character is e the fourth character is also e so this is the try for only tree now our second word is try the first character of try is t since root have a child t so we do not have to make another child which is t so we will move towards t the second character of a try is r since t also have child r so let's move to r the third character is i so let's make a child which is i the fourth character is e so let's make a child which is e the third word is algo the first character of algo is a since root doesn't have any child which is a so let's make a child which is a the second character is l the third character is g and the fourth character is o now our fourth word is a song since root has a so we do not have to make a child again which is a so let's move to the a the second character is s so we have to make a child which is s the third character is also s the fourth is o the fifth is c now our fifth word is all since root has a so let's move to a and after that we have to make l but a also have l as a child so we have to move down to the l now l doesn't have a child which is l so we have to make a child which is l now our last word is also so let's move to the a now let's move to the l now our third character is s since s l doesn't have any s child so move let's make an s child after that we have to make a child o so this is how it try is look like for these words note that every vertex of a tree doesn't store entire prefix or entire word the idea is that the program should remember the word that represent each vertex while lowering in the tree coding a try tries can be implemented in many ways some of them can be used to find a set of words in the dictionary where every word can be a little different than the target word and the other implementation of a try can provide us with only words that match exactly with the target word the implementation of a try that will be exposed in this video will consist only of finding word that match exactly and count the word that have some prefix pseudo code these are the four functions that we are required to create a try the first function is add word this function will add a word to the dictionary the second function is count prefixes this function will count the number of word in a dictionary that have a string prefix as a prefix the third function is count word this function will count the number of word in a dictionary that match exactly with a given string word the fourth function is initialize which is used to initialize our try and our try will support only letter of english alphabets we need to also code a structure with some field that indicate the value stored in each vertex as we want to know the number of words that match with a given string so every vertex should have a field to indicate that the vertex represent a complete word or a prefix for simplicity word is considered also a prefix and how many word in a dictionary are represented by a prefix because there can be repeated word in the dictionary this task can be done with only one integer field word up to this point our structure of a try is look like this now because we want to know the number of words that have like prefix a given string we need another integer field prefixes that indicate how many words have a prefix of the vertex and also each vertex must have a reference to all his possible sons that is 26 reference knowing all this detail our structure is look like this and we also need these functions 
this is the code for initialize the function name is initialize and it takes a vertex as a parameter that it have to initialize since it take a vertex which is to be initialized so there is no word is formed till this vertex so the number of words till this vertex is zero and the number of prefix till this vertex is also zero and also there is no edge going out from this vertex till now so we have to initialize all its child to be no edges so this is the code to add a word in the try suppose this is our try and currently we are at this vertex and the word that we will want to add from this vertex is code so this vertex is this vertex and this word is this word and now we will check if the word is empty then we will increase the count of word of this vertex suppose we only want to add go and now here a string is empty so we will increase the word of this vertex by one means we have added a whole word to the try which is go but if the word is not empty means we want to add code also then we will increase the prefix of that vertex by one because this go is also a prefix so we will increase a prefix of this vertex by one then we will take the first character of the current word our current word is code so the first character of code is c then we will check if an edge is exist or not from the current vertex to C. If it is not, then we will create an edge and initialize it because this is a new vertex. So we will initialize this vertex by the function that we saw previously. Now we will cut the leftmost character of the word. By cutting the leftmost character, the le word that will be left is code. We will call recursively the same function by going to the edge C. Here edge K is this edge C because our first character is C and this word is the word that is formed after cutting the leftmost character. So now our function will go to this vertex and our word now is old. This function will recursively call to itself till this string is not become empty. When this string become empty then this function will not call itself since you can saw here that in if there is no calling function and we will increase the count of word by one because when this, this string will become empty then a whole single word is added to the try. The function count word and the count prefix are very similar. If we have to find an empty string we only have to return the number of word of prefix associated with the vertex. But if we have to find the non-empty string we have to find the corresponding branch of the tree but if the branch doesn't exist we have to return zero that means in the count word if the word is empty then we will return the number of word associated with the current vertex but if the word is not empty then we have to check if the corresponding edge is exist in this branch or not if it is not it means that the word is not exist so we will have to return zero otherwise we will check for the remaining characters of the word and same in prefix also if the prefix is empty then we have to return the number of prefix associated with the vertex but if it is not then we have to check whether the corresponding branch exists or not if it is not then we have to return zero if it is then we have to check for the remaining characters of the prefix in the introduction part i have said that the complexity of finding and inserting a try is linear but we haven't done any analysis yet in the insertion and finding notice that Lowering a single level in a tree is done in constant time and every time the program lower a single level in a tree, a single character is cut from the string. We can conclude that every function lowers L level of the tree and every time that the function lower a level on a tree, it is done in a constant time. Then the insertion and finding of a word in a try can be done in O of L time and the memory used in a try depend on the method to store the edge and how many words have prefixes in common. So let's stop here and in the next video we will solve a problem based on try using a C++ language and see how we can implement this in a particular language.